Did you know that you can write an equation in point-slope form? The equation of a line can be written in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and it can also be written in point-slope form. y take away y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1. This is the point slope form of a line. Hmm. Let's look at what you need to do to write an equation in point slope form. To write an equation in point slope form, you will need the slope of the line and you will need a point on the line. Take a minute to write this down in your notebook. It will help you to remember what you need in order to write an equation in this form. Write an equation for a line containing the points 6, 3, and 4, 0. In order to write this in point-slope form, we are going to need to begin by finding the slope. Here's our formula for finding the slope. Now we can substitute these given values in for y1 and x1 and y2 and x2. This line has a slope of 3 over 2. The slope of the line is 3 over 2 and we know that the line passes through these two points 6, 3 and 4, 0. Now let's look at the next step. Instead of trying to find the y-intercept, you're going to use the point-slope formula. Let's write it down. We don't know x and y, but we do know x1 and y1, and we do know the slope. Let's substitute what we know into the point-slope form. Just a note, it doesn't matter which point you use, as long as you use an x and a y from the same from the same coordinate. In this case, we use 6 and 3. Now, we're going to solve for y. So the first thing we're going to do is add 3 to both sides of this equation. Now I've got y equals 3 halves times x minus 6 plus 3. Let's write all that again so that we can work it through on the next slide. The first thing we're going to do is distribute that 3 halves to both the values inside the parentheses. When we multiply 3 halves times x, we have 3 halves x. When we multiply 3 halves times 6, we have 18 over 2. And we're going to leave it like that just for a second before we simplify it plus 3. Now let's simplify it one step further. y equals 3 halves x minus, and we have 2 divided into 18 is 9 plus 3. Now we can combine like terms. We can combine these right here. So we have y equals 3 halves x take away or minus 6. Notice now that this equation is written in slope-intercept form. You could leave it like this or you could take it one step further and write it in function notation. The function of x is equal to 3 halves x minus 6. This is our final answer.